Hello everyone, welcome back to This is Lagos. Today, we're discussing a deeply concerning issue, the mass trial of hashtag end bad governance protesters. This trial, which kicks off on Monday in Abuja, Kano and Kaduna, has sparked outrage, with Amnesty International Nigeria condemning it even before it began. Let's dive into what really happened. Back in August, during the hunger and hardship protest, a large number of hashtag end bad governance protesters were arrested by security agents across Nigeria. These protests were a response to the widespread poverty and corruption plaguing the nation. And now, those who took to the streets are facing serious charges. Amnesty International Nigeria has been quick to condemn the mass trial, calling it a sham. In a statement released on their X platform, AI stated, This trial is a bizarre attempt to deprive people of their right to peaceful protest. The charges, ranging from treason to allegations of plans to destabilize Nigeria, show just how far the authorities are willing to go to silence dissent. Let's be clear, these are not minor changes. Treason, for example, carries the death penalty. Amnesty International argues that these charges are baseless and are being used to manipulate the criminal justice system against those who dare to speak out against the government. This is not just about the protesters. This is about the right to protest, a fundamental right in any democracy. Amnesty International has pointed out that while the government is quick to punish these protesters, there has been little to no action taken to investigate the killing of dozens of protesters across Kano, Katsina, Suleja, Jigawa, and Meduguri. We've seen this pattern before. During the hashtag NSAS protest, the government was criticized for its heavy-handed approach and for failing to address the core issues raised by the protesters. Now, with the hashtag end bad governance protest, it seems history is repeating itself. Amnesty International is calling for an immediate end to these trials and for the government to respect the rights of its citizens to protest peacefully. But for the Nigerian authorities to but, but will the Nigerian authorities listen? Or will these trials proceed as planned? This is a critical moment for Nigeria, and the outcome of these trials could have far-reaching implications for the right to protest in the country. As always, we will be watching closely and bringing you the latest updates. That's it for today, folks. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from This Is Lagos. And we want to hear from you. What do you think about these trials? Do you believe the charges are justified? Or is this just another attempt to silence critical voices? Drop a comment below and join the conversation. See you in the next one. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.